We've spent a good deal of the day showing you how to survive an active shooter situation. Our Paula Tetman has been training at Oakland University all day with its student program to prepare for the unthinkable. One of the things she learned was that all potential victims have an option to fight back. At four, we talked about making yourself invisible in an active shooter situation. At five, we taught you barricading 101. And now we want you to be prepared to fight if you come face to face with a madman with an automatic weapon. This is not going to be an easy fight for this person. They're looking for an easy fight. At Oakland University's active shooter training with campus police, our class was taught to assume a mass gunman is on a suicide mission. And if he's willing to die for his cause, he, in essence, becomes the most dangerous weapon on the planet. The aim is for you to die. And so cowering and pleading won't work. But fighting back? just might. I don't know, like right now, like my heart is racing still from like practicing that because you almost get the adrenaline going and you feel like you're almost in like a real situation. Chief Mark Gordon of Campus Police is our guide. He's taught this workshop more than 200 times. He instructs us to, as a group, work for an element of surprise. If you hear the gunman coming, organize. Look for things to throw, to disable and distract. As soon as he clears this entrance, you're throwing everything and you're going. Remy, throw and go. Remember that. Throw and go, because you've got to get your hands on them. Don't distract and run. Keep the attack going. Act fast, taking advantage of the element of surprise to try to disarm and then maim. Don't be nice about it. Thumbs to the eyes. Someone else coordinate a kick to the groin. If you win at distraction, you only have moments to bravely go for broke to stop the madness. We're getting ready to fight. We all know what we're going to do. Good. Much better. Much better. Much, much better. <laughs> there you go. I will survive. That's an important part of this. This is what you're doing to survive. Otherwise, the alternative is you're just a target. Folks, we know no scenario is going to work 100% of the time. But what we've been trying to show you is that you have options to fight back and possibly even survive with a mindset, I will survive. What do the experts tell us to do? Take one of these classes. Take several of these active shooter training classes so that your brain can be trained to take over when panic sets in. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Certainly an interesting well, idea. Well, and that is the key. We need some kind of training because an fighting back may be the only option. Certainly is. Yeah. All right.